Have you been looking for an easier way to manage your data? Let me walk you through how to utilize different filters in JotForm tables to do just that. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm, I'm Kimberly, and different filters within your submission data can help you find specific submissions based on the criteria that you choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a specific form. We're gonna choose this welcome form and we're gonna head to the submissions. Now over in the top right next to the search button, which you definitely can utilize, I'm going to click on the filter option. Now from here, it's going to automatically populate to all submissions, but you can manipulate that. If you want to choose between red submissions or maybe even unread submissions, you can do that. And you can also manipulate the time. It's gonna automatically fall on all time, but let's say you want the ones that were from today or the last three days. You can see there's lots of different ones to choose from, but let's say I want to know maybe ones that were submitted on a specific day. I can find that day or date range that they filled it out. So for this, I'm gonna choose August 20th through the 21st. And once you choose those dates, just click anywhere outside of that pop-up and it will automatically input your data. And so we can see it populated up here and down here. So I can go ahead and click apply filter and we can see the people who submitted a form between the 20th and the 21st. But that's not the only thing that we can utilize this filter option for. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out those dates. Let's choose filter again. We can also search by their responses, which is huge. So let's say I want to know everyone who said, yes, they want to subscribe to my newsletter. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it automatically populates to includes, but you can change that to equals or not equals to. And yes, I want it to stay on yes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the filter and we can see that we only have the people who said, yes, I want your newsletter. And the cool thing about this is we can save this filter. So any new incoming submissions that say, yes, they want to subscribe to your newsletter will fall into this filter. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new tab. We're gonna call it subscribers, create the tab, and we'll see right here, we have our new tab with just the subscribers. So let's go back to the main submission tab. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the yes filter. Let's try this one more time. Something else that you can search for is if you have assigned any type of tags to your submissions. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this again. I'm gonna choose tags. And then we can see to do in progress done, mailed, responded, those are all my tags. But let's see, we can see that responded has been used. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose includes responded, apply filter. And now we have all the submissions that fit that specific tag. And again, we can create a new tab if we wanted to. And that's pretty much it, it is super simple. So if you have any questions about utilizing the filter options in the submission table to manage your data, please let us know and I'll see you next time.